Hi everybody, welcome to another edition of Name Dropping with Pollo Del Mar. That's right, it's my video blog and it's our third entry into it. Thank you guys all for joining me and making this so much fun for me. What a crazy, hectic weekend it's already been. It's only Saturday, there's still some time left in the weekend, but I am already exhausted. Thursday night, Miss Bibi Zahara Benet, winner of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 1, performed with me at The Crib, San Francisco's premier 18 and over nightclub. We had such a blast, and I will be bringing you video footage interview that we did backstage at The Crib, and that's going to be in a future edition of Name Dropping. And then last night, of course, Bibi stayed in town for a photo shoot with acclaimed San Francisco photographer, Jose A. Guzman, Colonna Jose, better known locally as Putinesca, acclaimed drag performer in her own right and tranny chic legend, is also a very well-known photographer to the drag stars. She's uh, photographed from local legends such as Heclina and Juanita Moore, Peaches Christ, of course, all the way to now, after working with Bibi Zahar Benet, the winner of all three seasons of RuPaul's Drag Race. In the past, she's worked with Raja, the current winner, as well as recently with Tyra Sanchez, who we all know made headlines last week, but we're going to leave that one alone. And now, Bibi Zahara Benet. Bibi, in particular, was working on a very special project because she will be releasing her new single called Dirty Drums in October. She worked with Jose last night on about six different looks, and I have behind-the-scenes video footage. I'm teasing you guys because I'm not showing you them right now, but it's going to be stellar, and I got to see what will eventually be the cover of her new single, Dirty Drums, available on iTunes in October. We're going to keep checking back because I am going to be one of the first to make that information and those pictures available to you. We will be showing you video footage from the actual photo shoot, so stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss that. Meanwhile, tonight, down in San Jose, it was San Jose Pride, and Renegades hosted the Lady Bunny New York drag legend, Wigstock legend, and mastermind. For those of you who do not know what Wigstock was, it was the world's biggest drag festival, basically, in stage production. And, of course, younger audiences know the Lady Bunny for her appearances on RuPaul's Drag U. Now, Lady Bunny is hilarious. She, she has a website, and she puts out her fabulous and hilarious parodies. Some of them are very dirty. I'll put a link to the Lady Bunny's website here in this video, and you guys can check that out. Um, Bunny is really, genuinely one of the sweetest people you'll ever meet. A professional, she's been around the industry for many, many years, doesn't take it for granted that she gets to work in this industry, and treats everyone so well. And she put on a fantastic show tonight at Renegades, and tomorrow night, it's going to be um, acclaimed drag legend Sherry Vine also performing. Unfortunately, I won't be able to make that show to give you the inside scoop, but Sherry Vine is amazingly talented in her own right. Check her out. Now, where can you find me coming up? That's the question, everybody. So tomorrow night, actually, I'm very excited because I'll be working with Help is on the Way, a fundraiser for the Richmond Airmen AIDS Foundation. And once I've met some of those fabulous celebrities that are going to be donating their time, I'll give you all the inside scoop on that. We will definitely be name-dropping some of the celebrities like Shirley Jones, the Oscar-winning mother of the Partridge family. Mm -hmm. I need to find out more information about her. As well as um, many, many other stars. I cannot wait to get the scoop and go behind the scenes at Richmond Airmen AIDS Foundation. Help is on the way which is tomorrow at the Herbst Theater. We will get details about that. And where can you find me in the city raising money and doing good? Wednesday night, I'm going to be at Ginger Fruit for a fundraising event called, I'm pulling it up now, Drink Good, Do Good Carnival. It's no clowning around. It's an adult carnival and festival, which is going to raise money for the Human Rights Campaign and the San Francisco Bay Times newspaper. Now, many of you know that um, I have written my column for the past several years for the San Francisco Bay Times, and they recently changed ownership. So this is actually a fundraiser to make sure that the new um, publication going forward is able to be viable financially and is supported by this fundraising effort. So what it is, it's a wine tasting and a liquor tasting. You get to come out to Ginger Fruit. Many of you might know Ginger Fruit because it was formerly Mecca. It's on Market Street, directly across from the Safeway at Church and Market. Um, 
the actual address is 2029 Market Street. I had to look, so I leaned forward into you guys a little bit. 2029 Market Street, across from Safeway near Church and Market. It's a brief walk from the Castro. It's $20 advance and $30 at the door. So come on out, drink up, and have a good time. And for all you horny toads out there, there's a very good chance that I might actually end up in the kissing booth. That's all on Wednesday night, this coming Wednesday, the 24th of August, and it's 7.30 p.m. to 10 p.m., so come on out and check it out. Support a great cause. I will be there. I'm excited. I'll be returning. My column will be returning to the San Francisco Bay Times, which you can find online at sfbaytimes.com, and I'll put that URL below here as well. Um, I actually just recently had a meeting with uh, all the staff members, and we're trying to figure out and formulate a plan going forward with the new publication. If you haven't seen it, please pick up a copy on newsstands, now available through wider distribution throughout the entire Bay Area, available also in the East Bay and San Jose. The publication looks absolutely stunning. So thank you so much, Dana, the new editor-in-chief, and Betty Sullivan, who is the new publisher of the San Francisco Bay Times. Check it out online, sfbaytimes.com, and look for the return of my column, The Glamazon Diaries. I'm going to let you guys go because even though I have such a good time with you, dropping names, gossiping, and sharing all the dirt that I find out. Tomorrow's going to be another long day, and I think it's time for me to call it a night. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm Poyo Del Mar. Make sure that you don't just connect with me here. Follow me on Twitter and join my Facebook fan page. I look forward to connecting with you at all opportunities. Thanks, and I'll see you around the Castro soon.